Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube. We're, we're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Lack of, punching, needling, quilting, all the above. <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you so much for all of the comments and well wishes and everything in between. We appreciate it. We did have some questions last week. Uh, Tina wanted to know how long did your autumn ABCs finish? I stitch on 28 count Monaco, so it finished at about 21 inches. Give or take a few. <laughs> I'm not the best at math, but that's what I measured. Uh, Nancy wanted to know how many squares down and across are your quilts? Ooh. The two Z's, we go nine. I don't remember. But but, I'll have to, no. I, somebody asked. We'll count. Somewhere else too. Yeah. And we'll, we'll count. tell you next week. Sorry. The new Halloween quilt that mom made is four inch squares because we had already had some four inch squares cut from mm -hmm. last year. Uh, the fall quilts that she just finished for us are five inch squares. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Jill, the green at the bottom, I put, I put boob witch. That's incorrect. <laughs> That's <exciting. laughs> <laughs> the bottom of that, the green, do you go the full length row by row? So do you go all the way across or do you go up and down? Yes, I went I went side to side on that one. And you still did one, one strand, strand of floss, floss because it was darker. I used polywog. Uh, somebody asked, would you consider doing a quilting tutorial? No, because we... <laughs> we don't know what the heck we're doing, okay? <laughs> you just got to slap it together, iron it but a little bit. there are a lot of good quilting tutorials out there. I mean, every time I have to do a binding, I have to watch a couple to figure it out. So Fat Quarter Shop. Um, what's the really popular just, one? If you just put it in the search bar on YouTube, you'll be sitting there all day. With people who actually know how to quilt. Right. We do like the half butt quilting, and so we don't want to share that for the world. We don't play a quilt. We just play a quilter. We aren't a real quilter. Right. We life. just do it on TV. <laughs> We're cross stitchers. Um, Darina, how do you find time to stitch with the baby? Um, it's not that bad for me. <laughs> yeah. I just dig for it. Um, I don't know. When he's napping or when he's in his swing content, I can sit right next to him and kind of watch him and ha let him have his own independent time, but I can stitch. Um, my favorite time of the day to stitch now is in school pickup line when I'm able to. If I can get him to take a nap while I'm waiting there, um, the best lighting is in the car for me. I don't know why, but I, you just got to do it, right? Uh, if I didn't do it, it wouldn't get done. Uh, Kim, when do you guys get your first snow? We got a first frost last night, mm -hmm. like actual frost. We had a frost, they said, a, a week ago, right? But No, I don't know. It didn't kill our zinnias or our garden. Last night, it killed my zinnias. I don't know. Mine along the sidewalk are not dead, and mine out in the yard were not dead when I went out there like at 7 o'clock this morning. Mine are dead. So we'll see. Dead. I did pull a bunch of mine out in the front yesterday, though, because I had powdery mildew on those. Snow, we usually get November. Yes. Mom wants it to snow before her birthday, typically. Um, but our Halloweens are always cold, rainy, disgusting, if that helps at all. Or 80 degrees. <laughs> it's going nuts. Um, okay, and um, Barb, quilting. Are you quilting each square? So, yeah, yes. She goes down, so she's the quilter. I just, hey, I iron. Uh, she one. goes down um, with her foot on the outside the outside of her foot on the seam on every seam if that makes sense so mm -hmm. it looks like the whole box is quilted when you're done um stitching joanne joanne i think uh are you enjoying being a mom more than anything in this world i love it i was a stepmom prior to this so obviously had some experience but it's a new experience when you have your own child and i i've loved every minute of it um edwina what's the boyd's bear thing that you go to Oh, that, that was a long time ago when... We met that guy, the curly-haired mm -hmm. boy's bear man. Gary? I don't know. <laughs> Gary the monkey. Yeah, uh, shoot, I can't even remember. It was I in Chicago. It was, was it at a store or did we go... No, it was we like a convention a... center. Okay. She used to do craft shows. She used to um, collect Boyd's bears. She has so many Boyd's bears. No, I've given most of them away. Oh, I have a I, lot of Boyd's bears. I kept bears, my then. mohair bears. But she used to collect them, so she would go to the actual um, mm -hmm. conventions to mm -hmm. like meet them and stuff. Um, Danny, how do you manage time? That's something that we get asked a lot. We, I mean, I'm tired. 
<laughs> it's hard for either of us to sit still though. So if we're watching TV or anything, our hands are always moving. I think that's um, mm -hmm. a trait of any crafter that you, you meet. Um, our days start very early. Um, mine have been starting at like 4.45 lately just because that's when he gets up to feed and I'm not gonna go back to sleep uh, for 20 minutes. Um, and then throughout the day you find time to just squeeze it in if you can. Oh, I'll take them. And then uh, stitching is my happy place. How big were the squares for Cash's rag quilt? Six inches, because then you quilt them down and they were four. Or were they five inches to start with because you bought a bundle of them or something? Oh, five inches. No, I think it's six inches. Okay, six inches. We'll just remember. go with that. It might be on my blog, you could check there. Okay, can you say hello? Say hi, I got new outfits yesterday. <laughs> oh, look, you're so fuzzy. Okay, um, Lynn, do you have a favorite time to stitch? Oh, who is that? I like to stitch really early in the morning. When I first get up, I after I put like the dishes away and stuff like that, I like to stitch for an hour before I start my other stuff, and then I stitch before I go to bed. Hello. Uh, same. Same. Whenever I can. Um, Kiki stitches. How do you sew on the binding on your quilts? Mm. That's the painfully mm -hmm. she we use a sewing machine uh but you mm -hmm. put it to the back and then yes you sew it on the back and then you turn it around to the front and then sew on top of the front and i always had problems with the corners but then finally it just clicked and i got it and i can do the corners now without having to watch a video before and, and our quilts are not like gonna win an award at the fair but it keeps our feet warm when we're <laughs> they covered up with them <laughs> and um patty this wanted is to the know the second halloween one yeah, she used little candy corns on the binding. Oh, who is that? And on that? the back, too. Who is that? But I finished that, um, and it's so colorful. This is more of the oranges and stuff than the last one. The last one we did was mostly black and whites, I feel like. Yep, and we used the um, the stacks, the Loopy U stacks from the Loopy right. U for the Halloween fabrics. Mm -hmm. We put that into both of ours, so we split it, because we both really like the fabric, that mm -hmm. we didn't want to say, okay, you get this one, and you and we, get this we one. we bought absolutely no fabric for that, right? Right. Absolutely none. None. It was all in the basement. In the stash. <laughs> uh, Patty, what and is don't your... ask to see the basement. <laughs> yeah. Have you drawn the winter farm yet? I just drew oh, it, yes. Oh, what a mercy. Mm -hmm. It's ready oh, to go. You're on TV. And wait till you see it. it. <laughs> Sandra, who is the designer of Trick or Treat? I think it's that one. Bank Creek? Yes, Bank Creek. We'll be showing it. That's the one I didn't want to get up off my butt last week to go get, <laughs> so we'll show that this week. If you guys could see my pile, it's big. <laughs> um, D, how do you store all of your finishing supplies? Do you, or like, do you do it in um, Rubbermaid totes, or what do you do, in, or do you no, buy as you no. go? <laughs> no. That's why we won't show you the basement. It's... It's a magical place. Let's yeah. just say that. But she has a lot of stuff. But then if there's things on sale, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, that she knows are like um, leaf garlands or Christmas garlands that she would love to add as picks to her pieces, she's going to stock up on that when it's there, if that makes sense. And right? I have shelves on the walls with ribbons and stuff like that. Yep. And, and I try to organize when I'm down there. shelves with bolts of fabric and shelves with just pieces of fabric and yeah scrapbooking supplies and mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't too. be spitting on youtubes <laughs> okay and then magic pond crafts will cash go trick-or-treating this year uh yeah so in my neighborhood they do a hayride for the kids so we'll go to that and then always on halloween we come here and mom does a huge feast so he'll get his mom some candy <laughs> right you gonna get mom candy okay mm. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all the questions I have for this week. Okay, so we'll do a couple of previous finishes. This is Threadworks Primitives. Shoot, I just wrote the name of it too. Do you remember the name of this? No. I'm working on the um, 4th of July one, Beggar's 4th. Okay, so it's Beggar's, Hall Beggar's Halloween, I think. Oh, okay. Beggar's Halloween. <laughs> Couldn't remember. So this was finished on... Yeah, clipboard? it's a it's a clipboard that I had found at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and it's burlap. And I am getting kind of tired of the chevron pattern, so mm -hmm. I might recover it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. that'd be easy. Yep. And yeah. then for another previous finish, sorry, we'll do this one. Hands you on see design. Our table today, it's not light today. Yes. This is the year in chalk, and I did not draw this one. Um, and then this one was 
done as charted. I don't know if you guys have seen lately yeah, that some people, the candy corn. yeah, they're making the candy word uh, look like candy corn. And mm -hmm. when I do it's that, really that's what I'm going to do for, oh, do you like this one? But this is a pedestal frame from Michael's, I think, that I added the black gingham to the back and that one's on there. And then another hands-on design is Pumpkin Spice Farm. And Chelsea and I both did this. My husband made a frame out of extra molding that we had and then uh, squeezed uh, chicken wire in the middle of it. And it's on magnets and sheet metal. And there's, yeah, there's sheet metal on, on the back. And then this one also, I have a Brenda Gervais um, snowman that goes in here. Chelsea got a new phone, so it's different for us. So we're trying to figure it yeah. out. That's why you've been seeing all the photos on my Instagram because I can take good pictures now. All right, you want to show your previous finish over there? Yes. So this was the one that we were talking about. This is the what started it all. Uh, it's the oh, the Brenda Gervais that we showed last Bobbing week. Bobbing for pumpkins. Bobbing for pumpkins. And I love stitching this. It's in the called forth threads. Um, but again, just attach the sticky board to a piece of like plywood on the back, drilled holes in it, and then used wire to attach it to these broom handles right here. So when she got this, and I finished it for her. I also bought one of these to do the same chart, but I attached my October 31st witch to mine. And I'll show you that in a minute. You don't have any other previous finishes? No. Do you have, oh, oh, this is a new finish. All right. I can't get to mine yet, so. Okay. We'll show that in a minute. All right, so. This is the one I wouldn't go get last week. I knocked out the glass so that I could hang it up above and I wouldn't have to worry about it falling down and knocking someone in the head. But this is Trick or Treat from Bent Creek and I made some of those felt candy corns like I did on Chelsea's uh, Halloween rolls. And I added a little banner with covered buttons and I put some ruffled homespun on the back. And this is a vintage window I found at a flea market. That one you stitched when you were on an airplane to where, Cal yep. California? Yep. yep. Last year. And this is from Hands On Design and me, and it's the Autumn Acres Farm, the truck, and then I added Ronnie from Queen Bee Flower Farm, and I did a little row of grass on the bottom, but this is a little rusty baking pan I found at the flea market, and I did a magnet on the top for the bow, and I added a little oh. velvet pumpkin. It's oh. so cute. So cute. And I did magnets so I can change it out and add something else for a different season. But the new chalk on the farm has been drawn, and it's amazing. It won't be out until, like, the first week of December, so just be ready for it. Woohoo! Okay. I still have more. <laughs> All right. This is with um, Spirits, Spirits and, and Spells, Spells by With My Needle. Needle. And this was one of my mania starts, and it's my 12th mania finish. And I found this tray at a thrift store in Missouri when we were on our way back from Kansas and I chalk painted it this morning and I added a magnet into it because I want to be able to change it out with the other ovals. She has a Santa, um, a little chick. Yeah, and I already put that something. one in the... All right, and this is Ornamental Joy from Country Cottage Needle Works. I found this old pan lid at the flea market and it's one of those enamel pans and it's dirty, rusty, crusty and just my favorite. So I added some ruffled homespun and a big pick of frosted greenery and berries and pine cones, and I love it. I am trying to decide if I want to add a bow to it too or if it's just enough, but I think it's just enough. But that's also on a magnet so I can switch it out. I like that one. Okay, and then both of us have this finished. This is the Mary String. And we both stitched them on the aqua fabric. That was Chelsea's idea. I found aqua and red plaid ribbon. I added some greenery with red and white berries and red and white bells and did it with gingham for the backing. And this is on the unfinished wood pieces that we found in Hobby Lobby. It comes as a bundle um, and we just screwed two of them yeah, they together. Like barn wood. Yep. Weathered wood. And this is what is on there currently, 
but this is the Halloween. And somebody had asked, they said they didn't understand what she meant by adding the pick to the back. So she just hot glued the pick to the back of that final piece of sticky So it comes board. off with it. And now this it stores just as one piece. There's a string hanging down where I hung it up on my window. This is October 31st, all of your favorite witch. <laughs> or an owl, whatever you want to call her. Anyway, I mounted her on sticky board, mounted some homespun on sticky board, and I used twine and attached it to the sign. And it's really cute. I hung it on my vintage window in the family room, and I just love it. So I'm glad that that one's done. You like it too? That was a lot of green at the bottom. You can celebrate now that it's done. Mm -hmm. You want to show your whips? Yep. So my biggest whip was my punch needle. Let's see if you can see it. The only thing I have left is the purple around the border. So I did end up, so I was, I was through two skeins of black by the time that I had gotten to like a can quarter of the, the way. And then I chose, I was using three strands. So then I switched and did six strands because somebody said it fills in faster and it did go a lot faster. You can't see a difference in like quality or anything. It's a, I don't, I, I love punching. I'll take, I took a break from it, but it's so easy just to kind of get in the mode where you're just punching away. All right. And then for whips, I have, um, October Hocus Pocus Halloween. This is the heart and hand. And she just showed, uh, the Christmas one. The is Christmas cute. one is awesome. This is my star. Almost done. It's quick. I'm just slow. Um, tingles. I'm still on the first chart here, but I'm on the second um, little scene. I really want to get to this, um, the one below it that says October 31st. I think that's going to be fun to stitch. So I'm trying to hurry up on this. Is that the one that's kind of long? Yes. I always like that. That was my favorite. So <laughs> I was just having a rough week and every project that I started, my thread started getting tangled or my thread ripped. So as soon as that happened, I just threw it and said, screw it. <laughs> um, so that's why I have a lot of whips this week. I was just not into like re-threading needles or anything like that. I don't know what my deal was. Um, I worked on the boo club, boo club, right? Yeah. Boo club. I made it to the second, um, second chart black hat while I was watching Shaws of Sunset, if you watch that, uh, it's trash TV. On Saturday night after our video, I started uh, Silver Creek Samplers. Don't know what it's called. It's not on the front page. This one, I decided to change it up and I'm doing um, it on black fabric. Whoa. <laughs> Just fling yourself down. <laughs> she loves it. And the, I'm going to switch a few things because it's obviously there's a lot of black on there. So I'm probably going to just switch the colors to be white. Um, and as, is, right? yeah. as I was sitting here, I, we got a tall, right? We got a tall, um, the floss packs. And I thought that I could use these colors. From Needles Case Goodies, my favorite okay. floss colors. And then, mom's talking. And then, uh, which is night out. He babbles away. He is teething so bad right now. We are, I got just a little bit of it done. That's that all it? my, yeah, that's Okay, so, I started last night. The mice. Calvin and Ronnie enjoyed it. No, they were mad. They don't believe there should be a mouse in the house. <laughs> this is a uh, gray coffee tea diamond. Yeah. With gray. the needle and thread mouse. What's it called? It's field mouse hollow. And I am changing the colors and I'm not adding that little moon. I think I'm going to do more um, bittersweet around it. Are you doing her dress purple? Are you yeah. going to do that argyle socks? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> And then, All right, and then Chelsea showed me her punch needle, so I had to. <laughs> so she started this one. This is a gift from one of our wonderful viewers. It's called Pumpkin Hollow. Hey, uh, Bubba. Thank you. Um, pumpkin Hollow, threads that bind. We really like these ones. Um, they seem to go pretty quick. See, I I prefer the Little House Needleworks one I do. 
because it was bigger. The, the small areas on this, I tried to do the ghost size three times and had to take them out. So I don't know if I need to do it like French knots or we'll see here, kid. What are we But I might on? take Chelsea's idea of using the six strands for the background. But she started this in one day and that's how far she got. <laughs> she said she stayed up till one o'clock. She wasn't going to bed until she got it done. She competes with me. Mine has been on the hoop for 17 years, though. Yeah, well, just in case Little House Needlewurst decides to come out with a Christmas one that I have to do, I need my hoop free. That's true. <laughs> oh, and um, we saw on Punch Noodle Primitive Magazine's Facebook page, I think it was that you sent me a screenshot of, they're um, discontinuing, not them, but the, um, oh, the, yeah, the Ultra cameo, Punch. Ultra Punch. Cameo so Ultra if you... Punch think that you're going to break yours, buy a new one, or if you Anyone, don't have one, buy or, one. Yeah, if you want to start, um, everyone raves about this needle, so if you want that, I would suggest you get that yes. relatively soon before they stop making it completely. Okay, and then uh, Mary and Bright, this is a Country Cottage Needlework. And it's design. in my Nikki's Notables bag, which she is extending her sale because everything's sold. Yeah, she said her shop is basically empty, so she's going to extend the sale. She's also putting off her shop update. That's when she adds stuff to the um, like pre-orders and whatnot to her Etsy shop. She's putting that off until next weekend. So you can always follow her on uh, Instagram, and you'll find out more info there, too. She's probably doing her orders, right? Yeah. Uh, so Mary and Bright, she, you're almost done. Yeah. I just got the top part and that tree. I made a mistake in one of the elves and I had to rip, rip them out. Otherwise I would have been a lot further. Okay. But it's very cute. Is I that know. all? Yes, <laughs> that's all. Our camera is very high today, so we have to figure this out. The new oh. camera is just weird. And less of our background shows too. So yeah. you're going to see more of us. Hi. <laughs> um, what else? Okay. So a hall. Oh Lord, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, oh your these. whip. Yeah. So, Swell I, Christmas. I finished my Halloween quilt and I started these. Uh, they have to be trimmed down, but it's that quilt that you go string quilt, right? Scrappy yes. string or whatever you call yes. it. But you sew it right onto the batting. Yeah, you can turn around and show them. So, it's already quilted and then you sew them all together and and then when she did this for her like everyday pretty quilt, Farmer's Daughter, she did go back and add some more quilting on mm -hmm. top of it because she just likes the way it looks. Is this pretty? Tell Grandma how pretty it is. Yeah, so the, these are really cute fabrics. So I don't know where our stuff is. These uh, floss packs are still available at Needle Case Goodies. She's got three different ones. The Summer Patriotic, the Fall, Halloween and the Christmas. These are a gift from Deb. Yes. She sent us a bunch of charts that she had doubles of and she said to keep what we want and to give the rest away to you guys. So Ooh. we will be doing that. So some good coming soon. Giveaways. giveaways. Yes. Thank you, Deb. We appreciate that so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then Brenda also, Brenda, Brenda, she won one Brenda. of our Autumn Acres Farms giveaways and she sent us gift cards to keepsakes in Ohio. And a cute card. Mm -hmm. And a very nice note. And it, it's just shocking. Uh, truly. Thank you so much. We mm -hmm. appreciate it. And we appreciate all the kind comments, everything. I mean, I love reading them all. Last week, you were all cracking up at his faces, too. <laughs> Grandma's stuff. He was like, yeah. And everybody had a nice thing to say. So thank you. A critic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob. Um, I think that's all we have today. Okay. We took a break. And now we're back. He was yelling. <laughs> literally yelling. He's tired. And he does that. He talks a lot when he, like, yells at me when he's sleeping. Um, we are doing a stitch along. So we have partnered up with Down Sunshine Lane. Uh, she's offering pre-orders as a bundle for this chart. It's Country Cottage Needleworks. It's new. It's not out yet. I don't, I think it's another week or two away from even distributors having it. So this is Santa's list. And when I saw this, I was, oh gosh, it's so perfect. I, I can't even tell you. And it looks like it's small, so it won't be a big deal. And maybe Chelsea will finish it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> but anyway, Down Sunshine Lane, uh, she's offering a pre-order on it. You can order the whole bundle with the floss, or you can order the pattern, or there's Needle Nanny, and 
we'll put the link below. So the link will be below and we'll test it to make sure it works. And we don't have a date yet that we're going to start, but I'm thinking maybe around November 1st. Okay. As we, long as it's out by then. We don't know right. the dates or anything. We just know that we want to start this so you can start finding your place. Uh, we know there's always mayhem when we say, hey, we want to do a stitch along. So we're trying to alleviate that by get but, your pre-orders in. Right. With but you cannot find this anywhere yet. So right. don't panic when you can't find it. Okay. Um, then we already mentioned that Nikki's Notables, her bag discount has been extended. So check out her shop. She's going mm -hmm. to uh, do her shop update next weekend. So um, again, there's only a few things. She said her shop is basically empty right now. So it, she's trying to restock as quickly as she can be patient with her. Uh, she got, she did get a lot of orders. And then we have winners for last week. So a lot of you, thank you, went to Down Sunshine Lane and checked out Sampling and Memories, new pre-order mm -hmm. scissor fobs and thread keeps. Um, I and love them all. Too. They are mm -hmm. adorable. So we have two winners. Uh, Scissor Fab winner is Brandy Johnson, and the Thread Keep winner is Cherie McNeely. So if you could, please get a hold of us through the email, and then we're going to pass on your information to um, Down Sunshine Lane, if that makes sense. So send us your information. Um, and we can get that to the right person. And then uh, uh, Autumn ABCs we were giving away because I finished it. Um, and that is going to Tina Salentino. Okay. Congratulations. So all of you, our email is listed below. If you click below our faces on the right hand side, that little down arrow, that's where you're going to find all of our links. Our email address is below. Also, you will find our hashtags that we stitch along with mm -hmm. um, all of our stitch alongs that, right. that you can join us on because they're all ongoing. And our days of the week that we, the different things yep. that we stitch. And uh, like, any you know, right person. Now, I'm like ready to, just, I, I just want to do Christmas all the time. Yeah, she's done with Halloween. <laughs> she's done. I'm not. <laughs> she's not done. Mice. But she just wants to stitch Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of our people that we mentioned, so like Nikki's Notables, mm -hmm. um, anybody that we mentioned throughout Humble the video. Bumble. They're going to be linked below and mm -hmm. you can go straight to their, usually mm -hmm. you can go straight to their thing. Sometimes if it's not working, just put us a quick note in the comments. Hey, your link is broken or something like that. And sometimes we have to go somewhere while the video is uploading. And when we get back, then I, because I have to do it on the computer. So yeah, sometimes that might take us an hour to get, <laughs> to get it, the, to get it all together. And then today we have a giveaway, don't we? Two of you are going to win the thankful string from Lizzie Kate. We have two of these that were given to us by, I don't know if by the same person, but one of our viewers or two of our viewers. And so now two of you can win the thankful string. And this is so cute. I stitched this, but I took out the turkey and added a scarecrow and it went really fast. These are those little tiny, you know, inch. This long. Yep. I think it's an inch and a half. The mm -hmm. ends, the on our tall. fabric. Yes. yes. Um, what are they going to be answering? What are you thankful for? Oh, good. <laughs> I'm thankful for a lot of things. Hot tea right now. <laughs> I'm thankful for a lot of things. Caffeine. Um, okay, so I think that's... Okay, so follow us on Instagram. At Priscilla Blaine, at Chelsea356. At Priscilla's2000 on Facebook. Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. Yep, you got it from me. <laughs> where you can see more of everything and there's always a lot of information there if you have questions you can usually go there and figure that out and we will count the quilt blocks i think that weren't the, the like five inch ones didn't we need or no 470 something of the yes it was a lot four inch ones we had yeah. the girls counting because i I don't want to make a little tiny quilt. I want it to be big enough that you can, I want these quilts to just not sit around. I want them to be used. So and they are mm -hmm. by all of us. Mm -hmm. We like them better than the crochet. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes the crochet, your toes peek out, mom says. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can throw them on the back of your couch. So it's a twin size. But well, we use twin size this batting. One, I don't know that I'm going to let people use it, but the this one Christmas. Yeah. That was like the first one you've spent a lot of money on fabric for, right? Like it's, no, it's, it, I waited to get a decent deal. Good deal. It's a, a, more money than going to the basement and bringing it all. <laughs> Just picking stuff through. Um, okay. I think so. Good. Be a subscriber, like the video, and tell us what you're thankful for if you want to win a thankful string. And two winners, two separate winners for mm -hmm. next week. Um, do we show the thread floss, the thread? Oh, and, and the Halloween home tour has not happened yet because right now my living room is full of 
lots of stuff from upstairs because the carpeting <laughs> is coming on Monday. So hopefully next week uh, I'll be able to do give you a Halloween tour. tour. Yep. And we'll be filming on Friday next week. So get all your answers in by Friday, please. Okay. Any questions? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Sorry for the jumble of things. There was a lot to show you this week. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.